the magical realm. It is a mysterious world which is inhabited by witches, warlocks, and fairies. It was this strange locale that Arus, a human, was suddenly thrown into. She began living with Sheila and Eva, who were apprentice witches her age, and the things that happened around them were always quite bizarre. What kind of adventures will they find themselves playing a part in now? Miletus. Yeah? This is gonna be trouble. Yeah? I can't believe that you actually brought a Gamali baby here. I don't think we're gonna be able to keep this thing. Why do you say that? Gamalis are supposed to be really, really rare fairies, aren't they? That's right! It's supposed to be hard to get a hold of a Gamali's horn! That's it right there. Hmm? Where? Does it have one? A horn, I mean. Huh? A Gamali's horn is valuable, but it takes a little while for their horns to grow oh. in after they're born. Nah! Then all we have to do is just wait until it grows in, right? Now listen here. A Gamali is a really delicate kind of fairy. That's why it's even spelled out for everyone to see in this 25,000 page book on catching fairies. Capturing Gamali babies is forbidden. Mama? Mama. How do they expect Anyone to read these tiny letters. So you're saying we've got to return this gomily to the forest? No, we're not talking about returning it. Whoever picks up a gomily baby must raise the fairy, and that would be you two. Oh. Mama? Not your mamas, don't you get it? 
Whoever picks up a Gamali baby must raise the fairy, and that would be you two. I can't believe it was crying all night. It's not eating the pixie food either. <laughs> huh? What's up? Hmm. Two people careless enough to pick up a Gamali baby, huh? I thought Sheila was the only one, but since you did it too, I guess you're just as dumb. Oh, stop making fun of us! Wait, huh? are you saying that Sheila had to raise a Gomely baby too? That's right. Go ask a Gomely mama how to get the baby to sleep. <sighs> so, you came to ask about it? Mm-hmm. But it isn't like we need your help or anything. Don't get the wrong idea. And don't let it get to your head. Fine. Come in. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> oh, what do I do, Arus? <laughs> Look! Oh, okay, little Gummily. Watch the finger. Ah! <laughs> Look at what you've done! Hey, what are you two doing? There, there. <sighs> All better now, right? <sighs> I didn't expect this. Hmm? What are you talking about? Well, it's just that I thought you'd be bad at things like this, but it kind of seems to come naturally for you. <laughs> I guess I'm a little impressed. <laughs> Quit laughing with that disgusting look. Uh, doesn't this fairy seem to be hungry to you two? You were able to find a milk ball to feed it, weren't you? Huh? I'm asking you whether you fed it or not. No, nope, it doesn't even eat pixie food. <sighs> Some terrible people picked you up. Gomily babies don't feed on anything but plants called milk balls, which are located deep in the fairy forest. Hey! I got it! <laughs> Here you go! <gasps> Guess the little guy was hungry after all. Feed it four times a day. Ooh. Any more than that will give it diarrhea. Oh, my, my stomach. The environment's most important when raising a Gomily baby. If it's not a good environment, it'll weaken quickly. If you want to be relieved of your nursing duties as soon as possible, I suggest you live here for a while and raise the baby. This has all become kind of a pain in the rear, hasn't it? Yeah, it sure has. <sighs> <laughs> What happened to Mila and Miladis? Sometimes I visit them to see how they're doing, and they're doing a good job. What about the Gomily baby? It's doing fine. No issues. How long till the horn grows in? I'm guessing it'll be soon. Sheila. Don't let them make the same mistake. <laughs> Mama, Mama. Okay, I'm back with the milk balls. Uh, oh, Bo, is it yummy, Wummy? <laughs> oh, it's that yummy. I'm so happy, Wimpy Poo Poo. Mama really loves you. <laughs> uh, I don't think this thing is cute at all. Not one bit. Yeah, me neither. Um, oh, come on. You shouldn't tell Widow Wise like that. That's why you really shouldn't. Sheila, don't let them make the same mistake. Uh, you, you're... Sheila! Huh? <laughs> I can't believe how Mileth and Miletus turned out to be such loving parents. Could there be a chance that Sheila was the exact same way before? I wasn't really... Sounds kind of fishy to me. But since we're talking about that, what happened to that Gomily you raised anyway? <sighs> Sheila? <laughs> <sighs> hey, look what's on top of Popo's head. That's the horn growing in, right? It, it really, really is! The, the horn's, horn's finally, finally coming, coming in! in. <sighs> I'll be taking it to the holding facility. Hold on a minute there, Sheila. Why do you have to? Uh, Sheila! You doing that doesn't sound right. This was all about the horn growing in. That was the point of these two raising the fairy. 
There's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, but... I don't believe them. Damn it! Sheila, hold on! them no matter what then you're gonna have to go through me before you <sighs> hey sheila geez she didn't pay attention to a single thing i just said Drinking too much. How's this? <laughs> Me with a fairy. Here. It seems like all the fairies are really mad. They probably think that the Gomily baby was kidnapped, so they're trying to get it back. <laughs> nice one, Sheila! Sh Sheila! This isn't good. You all should hurry up and get out of here. Hand the Gomily baby to me. But... Nana! Nana! The two of you can't handle this. Just hand it over. No way, Sheila! Uh, if we hand Popo over, then you'll just go to the holding facility, won't you? That's too cruel to do! This really isn't the time for that. <laughs> that time, even I... Even I didn't want to leave it in there. <laughs> in order to survive in this world we live in, you've got to put up with things that you might not like sometimes. That's not right! Uh. <sighs> ah, Ruth! It'll make Popo sad. Not to mention Mila and Miletus. Me and Ava, too. Even you'll be sad, Sheila. You and I both know it just isn't right. There's no point in putting up with something like that. Get out of here while I'm still able to keep this thing restrained. Hurry up! <laughs> I'll come visit you every day, okay? Hey, I'm here now. I've hurt you. And we 
were still witch and fairy. Even so, the betrayal was all mine. Magic. Well, then what are you saying we should do? It's all or nothing. We have to do it. realm's a small world. Well, your child's been returned to you. See you around. or so they say. Uh, let go of me. That's gross. Oh, Don't on. be so embarrassed, Sheila. Nah! Shut up. Don't make fun.
right, let's begin today's magic lesson, okay? This time it's the hallucination spell. In order to cast it, the only component you need is a Pisky Fairy's Fang. We know that Piskies glow with a pink light, but you normally can't see them, so they're really hard to catch. To find a Pisky, you need to find yourself a four-leafed clover, but it's pretty hard to get your hands on one of those, too. Hmm. And the incantation in the magical realm language is Ome, Talzema, Bami Krone. It's a long one. But if we go by Aru's code, it becomes delicious maple syrup strawberry. I wouldn't mind using a spell like that. The incantation sounds delicious. Bye!